For most people, it would be vast expanse of wilderness. Along the seventh longest river in the world, the McKinsey River, we call the Decho. I was born there in a place called Yalta Lake. There was literally nothing there. There was no electricity. There was no municipal services. And for the first five years of my life, I lived out in a place like this. And we depended 100% on the bounties of the land, as you would say. I am Stephen Kakwe. I am Dene, a First Nations person from Fort Good Hope in the Northwest Territories in Northern Canada. First Nations people, Indigenous people, the original people, we all believe inherently that we are part of the earth. The word Dene means from the land, of the land. And our culture is all about being part of the land being part of the wildlife, the fish and the birds. We're not separate from it. We're not the one that has dominion over it. We are not in charge. The Dene have always had a plan. We have always had a plan for our land. Every year for thousands of years we have decided which families are gonna to go to the mountains, which ones are gonna go on the river. Where are the places where the moose are plentiful? Where is the best fish? Which ones should we leave for a few years till they, they become plentiful again? That's uh, land use planning and that's what we've done. Generations of our people were raised in institutions and that has brought those of the language and the culture and the things that make us Dene. I spent seven and a half years in residential school. I was taken away from my family I did not grow up with my, my people and my community. I uh, forgot my language. I went through some uh, horrible suffering. The people that I went to residential school with became my family. And when we came out of residential school, we went back to our communities and that was our, our network. And we became the chiefs, we became the spokesmen and the leaders. We were the, the elders now of, uh, of our people. What is closest to me is the land where I was born. Everywhere I look, there's stories, there's spiritual sacred sites, and uh, those are beautiful to me in my heart and my mind. When I was a child, after I came out of my first year in residential school, when I was just so heartbroken and lonely, I used to go to this hill, and there was a stand of birch trees, not very really big birch trees, just small little birch trees. And that was my comfort place. There's a way to get comfort from the earth, from the land, just by laying on it, by connecting. Elders say the earth loves us because it's been taking care of us for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And it maintains the balance. The air is good to us. The wildlife is good to us. The, the water is bountiful. As Dene people, as indigenous people, we, we pay attention to everything that goes around us. The weather is changing, and uh, our people have known that for, for many, many years. When you're putting too many poisons and chemicals into the air, when you are starting to put too much garbage into the oceans, too much uh, chemicals into the rivers, when you have huge tracts of land that are polluted, no longer able to, uh, to grow things and sustain things. And uh, when they're all happening all at the same time, then um, it, it should be a concern for everybody. The earth as a living organism, the one that sustains all of us, Just as indigenous people have rights, just as all human beings have rights, so does the earth. And we have to get to the day when we say, yes, every one of us, all people, all companies, and all governments 
will respect the rights of the earth. As a young Dene, I grew up believing this is my land, this is my country, and I choose to share it. But I have conditions. When you come into my country, I expect you to live as a good citizen, to respect the rights of everybody else, to take care of the land and the water and the wildlife, and leave it the way you find it. It's not for you to destroy it, to pollute the water, to kill off the wildlife, and then leave. That's just not anything we're interested in. If we don't take care of the land and the water, then all of us will surely perish.